Okay, so this video is a little bit more serious than than the other ones that I've I've created. Um, it's it's kind of about how I screwed up my own YouTube channel. Um, yeah, so this video is gonna be for people that you know maybe wanna start creating YouTube videos or maybe you're struggling with um, getting you know traction on on the YouTube space and trying a bunch of different things and and it seems like nothing is working and and the thing is there might be a chance that you're going through something similar than what I'm going through right now or have been going through for the past probably, I don't know, two years, maybe more. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this video is not going to have like a bunch of cuts and and zooms and stuff. Um, it's it's just me talking to you guys. And and it's even for, for the people who just want to be here, like who has been here through this whole journey or want to continue with my journey and stuff like that. It's gonna start with, I like when I created my YouTube channel. Like I, I created my, my my channel or started uploading at least to my channel in March or February 2020. Like just when COVID started, you know, I, I started creating videos and stuff like that just as an outlet because it's something that I've always wanted to do. I, I, I had this weird idea. I think I I was watching Naxonor's channel or or somebody. I, I don't really remember, it's it's too long ago. But in any case, I started my YouTube channel primarily as a CS-based channel. I CSGO, you know, at that time, I created like a weird montage thing for my first video and went on from there, like video for video for video. And I was gaining traction like like fast, like pretty, pretty fast for the time, you know, for somebody that doesn't know anything about YouTube. Uh, it, I think I had like a thousand subscribers in like three months or something and you know back then shorts didn't exist so it was kind of hard to to get to that point that fast without like actual promotion and stuff like that like i mean i i promoted in the game a lot but it, it kind of worked like i was getting about a thousand views 700 to a thousand views per overwatch type of video with like having 800 900 subscribers or like a thousand subscribers so i was like a, at a good point you know gaining good traction and everything and then i started creating videos i think it was the first one was like an aniba video where i was like is aniba a scam or something like that because i was affiliated with them by then uh, i sent them an email asking if i can get affiliated they went through like a re review process and at the end of the day i was i was affiliated with them and i created the video and that started gaining traction like pretty fast as well and it was around about the same time when I created my first budget PC series video where I was talking about what the cheapest gaming PC is in South Africa that you can buy. And uh, that video up until this day is still getting, you know, quite a bit of traction. It's, it's at like 60, 70,000 views. And that's all good and well. But that's also probably my biggest problem that I have. You'll notice that most of my videos if you go check on my channel, it barely gets a hundred views, like at all. And I feel personally that <laughs> personally, personally that my my quality has increased quite a bit. Uh, you know, from from the beginning, I, I I speak more fluently now. I have better you know video quality. I've got a better like scenery all around me. I I have a better mic. Everything is better at the end of the day. And that doesn't help, like not even a bit. And the problem I have why this is happening is because YouTube doesn't know to who my audience or, or, or to who they should like promote, you know, they don't know what my audience is. And it's it, it makes it really hard for me to actually, you know, upload a video and target a specific audience. Because if I say you know, upload a video and I and I and I do the whole check mark where you like notify your subscribers. I've got six thousand subscribers, but like a thousand of those subscribers came from the one like budget PC video. About a thousand, let's say, came from the Iniba videos, and like two or three thousand came from the CS types and et cetera, et cetera. You know, it's it's kind of split up. I even have like a couple of subscribers from like Cyberpunk videos that I created a while back that also did pretty well. And the problem with that is that is like five different audiences all split up in a very small channel because I have a, a really, really small channel if you consider all the like hierarchy of channels on, on, on YouTube. I don't even know if it's YouTube or YouTube. I, 
it differs depending on who you ask. <laughs> in any case, the thing is, I'm I'm, I'm the type of person that like, like I I can't concentrate on one specific thing for too long. That's not my personality. I I have a vast amount of interests and hobbies and stuff that I want to express. Like I love PCs. I love talking about PCs. I love helping people with PCs. But at the same time, I love Counter Strike. It's it's my main game like i i keep playing that over and over even though i enjoy other games i still always go back to counter strike even with its flaws but at the same time i want to talk about other games as well i want to talk about things that interest me in just you know real life stuff like you get what i'm saying it's i'm a diverse person as i am pretty sure a lot of people are and that doesn't really resonate as well with youtube if like unless you have like a massive subscriber base if you have like a million plus subscribers or a few hundred thousand subscribers that that doesn't really matter because people are there to watch you they're your fans to watch practically anything you put out but for like a small creator like me that doesn't really help my case too much so i kind of fucked up my own channel it and i didn't know this obviously at the time otherwise i would have tried my best not to do this but it's something that I know now and I and I think there's it's something that YouTube as well as like the gurus and stuff they they didn't relay that as well for beginners or didn't at least they do now kind of if you watch like vidIQ's channel they'll keep telling you like get a niche and stick with that niche and if you want to post something else create a different channel for that and there's a good reason why there's a really really good reason why in any case this whole ordeal has kind of led me to to become quite tired of like you know posting content creating content because this is thousands and i mean actual thousands of hours in my life where i've dedicated myself to to growing this channel to creating content that i think will resonate with my audience i've i've kind of like tried to cross the bridge where you know seeing as most of my audience are at least gamers in a sense i've tried to cross that bridge and like just you know differentiate in different gaming subjects but it, it doesn't help because YouTube still doesn't know who my audience is. It's very difficult. And I can understand why. It's very difficult for, for YouTube to, to see who my audience is and to who they should promote to. So it's it makes it really difficult for me as well as YouTube to do, to do anything to like actual grow my channel. And I have tried to stick with a specific subject. It's It's very difficult and it's very time consuming. And it takes hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of very very hard work because youtube is really hard work anybody that says youtube is easy they lie they actually lie like it doesn't matter what you do on this on, on this platform it's hard it's gonna be hard like any other work like any other job it's gonna be hard with that being said i'm not gonna like stop creating videos just because of that it's it's just i wanted to let you guys know how i feel and why my stuff has been is so inconsistent which brings me to another point of uh, all kind of like a part where I, oh, like a part of my journey where I kind of screwed up my own channel is I stopped posting a few years ago. I stopped posting for like three, four months and then I started again and then I stopped again for a few months. It wasn't my like decision to actually stop. It's like real life stuff happens, you know, I moved to another home and the internet there was kind of crazy. So I couldn't really even upload stuff and the other time I moved again and it's, you know, internet stuff again and it's, it gets crazy and, you know, you have real life stuff to commit to that you have to do and it kind of takes up all your time. So I didn't always have the luxury to, to post all the time and be consistent in that way. And I think that also kind of damaged, damaged my reputation quite a bit on, on this platform. At least I, I did start to gain some momentum back, you know, a few years, two years ago, whatever when I live streamed kind of consistently. And I was starting to do that again now when I live streamed semi consistently, like almost every night, I, it did start to get some traction back. And then I had to stop again because the stupid internet fiber lines were broken and it, everything went haywire and it, make, it makes it really difficult to actually start, you know, live streaming consistently or do anything consistently at all. Um, but in any case, I, I just want to let you guys know how I feel. Like just to give you guys like a, a mindset idea of, of, of what, how my brain works and what I'm thinking about at, at a lot of the times. And for those of you who are like small creators or people who want to start out on YouTube or YouTube, I, I, it, it breaks my brain in any case. 
for those of you guys who want to start um, creating content, I hope this kind of helps give you an idea of what not to do because I did all the do nots <laughs> and, and it's kind of led me in a, in a weird, you know, down a weird path of getting like 40 views, you know, waking up, looking at my analytics. I'm like, yeah, nice. Got my 20 views. I mean, I love you guys for being here. Like the 40 people that watched my previous videos or 50 people, or the 100 people. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much for sticking around. I would just love to see this channel grow because you, you, you can't keep doing stuff like this that, that takes hours upon hours upon hours of your time if it doesn't actually give you enough back to to grow more. Like you, you need that ROI, you know, the return on investment. You need that. Otherwise, it's, it makes it impossible. But um, for now, at least, and for the the future, the foreseeable future that I can see, whatever, I'm not going to stop. I'm, I'm not going to stop anytime soon. Um, I'm going to keep on pushing and see if I can do something at least. I've got a lot of great projects coming up in any case, a lot of like side stuff that's going to happen that I'm not allowed to talk about right now, but there, there are a bunch of cool stuff that's going to happen, you know, a lot of reviews and cool tech stuff and gaming stuff and, and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe something changes. If by some miracle the channel blows up or a video, like a video blows up, I'll create another video and just let you guys know that, hey, so this is what I did that changed because I want to be transparent with you guys. But um, yeah, it's the, the, this is how my mind works. This is what I've been thinking about lately again. And uh, this, this is like an insight into what goes on in in one of place mine in any case yeah i thank you if you miraculously <laughs> watched it this far uh, and i'll be seeing you in the next video I, I'm, I'm trying to keep up a kind of a consistent posting schedule right now like mondays wednesdays and fridays somewhat uh, if that changes it, it shouldn't be by too much but I'll, i'm i'm pushing I'm, I'm trying to see what i can do all right in any case cheers guys see you in the next one